Let's talk about something today, which most of us experience with the BMW vehicles, which are equipped with the ZF transmissions. You will find them in a seven series, E66, E65, X5s, E60s, E53s, E64. Basically, find them on the ZF uh, 6 HP 19. ZF 6 HP 26 uh, transmission with the uh, infamous lifetime transmission flute. So basically what happens is you get a code or you get a message on the dash saying that transmission faults, usually the yellow one or the orange one, whatever, how colorblind you are. You get that uh, transmission faults depending on uh, how bad the problem is and then depending on what you're gonna what you use for to scan the vehicle you're gonna have uh, codes like 5079 um, EGS hero wire message missing or EGS serial wire timeout FC507A or just an FC5079 what happens is uh, you're gonna have a message on a uh, combi or which is an instrument cluster and also an iDrive uh, telling you that uh, you have a transmission fault and in some cases the actually the, the transmission of the gearbox actually goes to a limp mode and when you use uh, some sort of a scanner you will see that uh, uh, the codes will translate to being Line signal possibility, uh, serial line time out, uh, and then the gearbox emergency program will be activated. It means it will be in a limp mode. Um, so, of course, uh, after fixing this, you want it to clear the codes and then reset adaptation. When you're about to back up the car, or maybe sometimes even going forward and you step on a, a gas, you get that code or you get fault message on a dash in an instrument cluster or the iDrive. And when you put your scan tool, your laptop, your computer, whatever, you're gonna get a code um, stating that uh, you have some sort of uh, transmission error. And the code you're gonna get is basically, it's gonna say 0050, Seven nine. In short, it's five zero seven nine, which translate to EGS serial line timeout. Basically, some sort of signal is not happening. That happens whenever you have an issue with uh, the megatronic signal from or, or the EGS signal is not uh, sort of responding in timely manner. The root cause of that from my finding is basically the EGS terminal, the EGS uh, wiring harness it has a sleeve and the sleeve is this thing right here. Basically it will leak around the O-rings and then sort of hinders the communication to the CAS, uh, the DME um, from the EGS. Um, for those of you who don't know, or in other words, from your key to main computer, uh, EGS is your transmission computer. DME is the brain of your vehicle. EGS is the brain of your transmission. CAS is your key, which is the car access system. You, you insert your key and then you push the button. That is the whole thing is called CAS. So these things has to be able to communicate and the car has to know whether it's going reverse or backwards to be able to that uses all these pins um, to communicate. And when there is a leak from the transmission, uh, megatronic seal, uh, this seal, it will hinder the communication um, because probably oil, oil might get in here. To remedy that, uh, since you cannot remove this without removing the uh, pan, the easy fix is just to temporary fix is uh, to remove 
the wiring harness from the back of the transmission inside here and which will also expose it. this pins you could just uh, spray some cleaner blow it sharp air uh, dry it and then uh, also clean the wiring harness that way if there's any oil lingering around just blow with the sharp air put it back in and it should be good to go for temporary but it's gonna leak again and then you know, you're gonna have a problem so the best thing to do is to fix it right at once and avoid that uh, i mean get rid of that problem basically the proper way of doing this the proper way of fixing it um which i know you could correct me if i'm wrong is to actually drop the transmission pan then remove uh, the megatronic uh, seal and, and replace that and of course clean this real good and put that back in there to avoid risk to the transmission computer or egs uh, you want to disconnect the battery remove the seal to remove the seal you have to drop the pan your filter drop the pan uh, to drop the pan you first of drain the transmission fluid drop the pan with the integrated filter um, then uh, pull the lever from the transmission uh, valve body and then you could be able to pull that out uh, most of the time if it's leaking it's, it's just sitting loose over there so it should, it should be easier if it's not you have to use a, some sort of uh, angled plier to pull it out once you've done that clean this real good um, then after you clean this uh, put everything back torque to specs and then uh, uh, clear your code I uh, definitely if you could do a reset adaptation and do reset adaptation for both your EGS and also your DME uh, keep in mind you're gonna you might get the same code for other reasons uh, but that this is the most common problem but it's unlikely you're gonna have wires but i've seen people cut wires and stuff uh, re-terminate things but this is the first thing you want to try um usually this code comes in when you're about to move uh, forward or reverse uh, before you cut start cutting wires and replacing wiring harness the best thing for you to do is uh, check if the sleeve is leaking i mean it's, we could visually inspect after uh, getting under the vehicle uh, and visually inspect uh, if there's any oil leak around the seal and if there is here you go the problem is right there we could also reuse the transmission fluid uh, if it's been replaced recently and or if it's not it's this is a great opportunity to replace that but keep in mind when you do replace the transmission fluid it's a process you know, there are steps you have to do you have to warm up the car after the first feel i mean you want to actually try to find out how you do that 